So the next speaker is uh, Professor uh, Dr. Manfred uh, Dietl, uh, who will present uh, the multi-center validation study of the IULU mutation test on FFPE tissue of malignant melanoma. Uh, Dr. Manfred Dietl is a full professor of anatomy and surgical pathology and he is the director of the Institute of Pathology at the uh, Charité uh, University Hospital in Berlin, uh, Germany. Uh, he authored more than uh, 200 uh, papers and uh, book uh, sections, uh, received several awards and honors and uh, we welcome uh, uh, Professor Dieter to his presentation. Well, thank you so much for this introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to be here, to be invited, thank you so much, uh, to come to Washington. And I would like to um, present to you some data on the multi-center validation study regarding the Adela b raf test. And the aim of the study was to validate the Adela b raf mutation test, uh, which is run on the Adela system, of course. We did this on formerly fit paraffina bedded tumor samples from patients with malignant melanoma. With all these patients and all these samples were, of course, histologically and immunostochemically proven. In a clinical routine diagnostic setting, I'm a normal pathologist. We have to do this under routine, very normal uh, conditions. Compared to an established reference method, and this was pilot sequencing, and in some cases we also did, did next generation sequencing, which I will show you a little bit later. The data of the company, this is not part of, this is not being part of the study, the analytic sensitivity, as you see here, uh, regarding the V600E and K is very high. So, the serial are used for calculating minimum number of detectable copies, PCR is estimated minimum tissue area and verification of the limit of detection on 20 artificial uh, uh, formulated paraffin and samples. And you see that the results, which are the data which are given by the company, is very good. So the analytic sensitivity from the basic idea is correct. The reproducibility is even better. It's how we said, and here was one case because of insufficient DNA. So the assays were, were running on three different sites, two operators, four instruments, five days, and 40 times the V600E and 40 times K. And you see that everything was okay. Between different lots, one site, three different lots, one operator, six instruments, etc. And there was also more or less a 100% uh, agreement. So the basis why we get into this um, study and why we agreed to cooperate with these two uh, primary uh, results. Now we are uh, starting with the work we really did. This was a clinical validation study. There were two participants. One was a charity in Berlin, a lead in pathology, and there was uh, one of these in Hamburg in Belgium. The number of uh, samples altogether was 249. 10% primary, 88% metastasis, and 1% uh, possibly 1%. We didn't know where the material came from. But it was shown, it was proven, of course, that this is the molecular melanoma by the units of chemistry, etc. Itinerals were performed at the respective sites, 40 in Hamburg, 209 in Berlin. All pyro sequencing runs were performed at the charity. Evaluation of the final sequencing results were done without the knowledge of the internal results on the basis. Uh, this is the first slide showing to you the results. Out of these 249 samples, 236 samples resulted in valid results for both methods. The reason why there is a discrepancy of some cases uh, where that the, uh, that the DNA were insufficient. Uh, which was reported by the Adela system, we accepted this, and for one sample, you see it here, one sample slides were lost during DNA extraction procedure for pyrosequencing. What have been the results? 
you see on the left side the liver results, here the power sequence results, and <coughs> for the channel G, both 96 and 89 were all uh, in agreement, you no know, false negative or false positive. 3600K, there was uh, also, in, was using both technologies, uh, equal results. There was one problematic result in this one because it was a V600G, which is not detected by the system. This is yeah, a situation you have to discuss. We can't discuss on this, but it is like this. And, and which is very interesting, and I will show you a little bit later the, the clear differences why this or that happened. Five cases were discordant. The analysis of these five cases come in a second. So these are the really interesting cases. Why did the different methods detect something different? The other results um, regarding the agreement of the dichotomous uh, level, which is detected or not detected, also is very, very good. Um, and between the two uh, techniques. And the same agreement at a mutation specific level between the Dilla and Pyro were both 100 percent. So both techniques are more or less really very similar. Then for a pathologist, one uh, major question also appears, do the systems work also with a high level of pigmentation of the malignant melanoma? You know there are sometimes problems when there is a high percentage of um, tumor cells having or being loaded heavily with melanin. Uh, you see here that this does not influence the results of uh, the Adela system. And necrotic tissue is also sometimes a big issue. Uh, and also the Adela uh, system works although the percentage of necrotic uh, area of the tumor was relatively high. Uh, the, there was no influence on the results. Now we are coming to the five cases which were different. First, it is important to realize that the different cases all were done with pyro Y-type and Idilla identified as a motif. So the first idea is uh, Idilla is much more sensitive than pyro sequence. This could be one uh, explanation. But then we did next generation sequencing using the same material, by the way, using the PGM and the MySeq. And this is really funny and interesting, and we can discuss this a little bit more in detail. You see, the first case, maybe it's easier like this, yeah. The first case, wild type power sequencing, the Kingdomain system. Uh, Idilla says, Idilla says mutation, NGS, live text says mutation, and my success mutation. So altogether, we have to say, we, as a, clin a clinically working pathologist, we should have said to this patient, it's not a wild type, it's a mutated, so he should have got um, femoratinib. Uh, what in reality he didn't get, because it's the first round, uh, the power thing said it's wild type. Second case, um, this is not, Totally clear why these results are different. Again, pyro wild type, Idilla mutated, PGM says mutated, and Idilla says wild type. We are still trying to analyze uh, what is the um, reason for that. Is it a technical reason? Is it maybe also a reason of the software? Where are the colors? 6.2% uh, of political uh, <coughs> mutations is not very high. We realized that there is a high DNA fragmentation in this case and a high number of artificial DNA variations uh, which was detected by the PGM. The <coughs> third one, again, wild type, pyro, mutated all other, two, uh, all other uh, techniques, so the mutation should have been diagnosed, which, is not, which was not the case. I think that here it became very clear, here in the first case, that the sensitivity of the two essays and the two methods is different. The B129, the fourth case, wild type, again in Idilla, in the power sequencing, Idilla, NGS, mutated, and again, 
next generation sequencing with Illumina wiper. But this uh, percentage of 2.3, of course, is very low. And if you would have set this to 5%, it would also be wiper. This is a discussion between pathologists and clinicians. We don't have any clinical data on these cases, and they will ever always be a problem also in the next, yeah, I think, couple of years at least. The last, um, this was also interesting, again, wild type, then mutated, then wild type, and we didn't do Illumina up to now. And we realized later on in working up this case that there were two different preparations regarding the tumor areas. So this might explain this discrepancy. Nevertheless, altogether, I think uh, that the results are very promising, very interesting. We should realize that these low-level mutation cases will be a problem uh, for not only for BRAF and malignant melanoma, it's also for EGFR or all the others, also with presotilid and not more salaga, and so you know 50% fish positive. Being a pathologist and being a little bit realistic, this is a stupid number. Nobody can say it's more than 14 or more than 16. Just as uh, Tolanito emphasized this problem with these low uh, border, we call them often borderline cases. Conclusions one, it's really easy to use. What Erwin already said, it's uh, my technicians were delighted. But you can use, you can really take a taxi driver, I have nothing against taxi drivers. But into your lab, you can do this. Uh, short hands on time, short turnaround time, it works with nicely within two hours. High uh, sensitivity, high specificity, no interference by high running content on the process. I think this is important. What is the problem? Um, for example, in Germany we have the cool, uh, um, quality assurance program, quit quality and physiology, and then we have to say which allelic uh, frequency, allelic frequencies and what really is mutated. This is not, at the moment at least, not possible with this system. Maybe there can be a change later on. Uh, conclusion two, very high controls between pilot sequencing in the dinner and, by the way, electron sequencing. The discrepant five cases, all very dilla mutated and pyro sequencing non-mutated. Four of these were mutated by NGS PGM. So, um, I would say that these, at least these four cases, these four patients should have received the drug. All five discrepant cases were difficult due to bad DNA quality, numerous fixation artifacts, and or to heterogeneity, as revealed by additional NVS analysis as I showed you. This is the final slide. This is um, the Institute of Pathology at the Charité. And I would like to ask you, what is this? You saw it yesterday in the television, maybe, or the day before yesterday. This has been the Berlin Wall. The Institute has been in the east, and you are sitting in the west, at least from this point. And uh, so, and uh, this is always a picture I would like to show you to be optimistic. Even the problems are very difficult because nobody now 25 years and some days the earlier would have expected that this is now Alexander. Thank you very much.